Welcome! Today I'm going to be trying out some new resins that just came out from Rezione, or Rezione, or however you want to say it. Um, this is their new Water Fairy uh, resin line that is water washable. And the thing that I really like about this, besides it being uh, very thin, it seems like it's very water-like in there. Um, they have some starting settings for you already listed on the bottle, which is very handy. It does say that it has a shelf life of three years, which is longer than I've ever seen so far. Typically, your resins are only good for about a year after you open it, but apparently these will last a little bit longer. But only time will tell on that one. So I have a few different colors that I'm gonna try, and to start with, I'm going to just do uh, some test prints to make sure that I have some good settings and I'll, I'll leave those settings in the description as well as the colors and links to these if you wanted to try them. You can use them for anything you want of course but what I typically use my resin for is printing miniatures or inclusions to put into dice. Once I have my resin in here the heater will heat up. I'll leave it for about 30 minutes or so to make sure that the ambient temperature is about the same and then we'll get printing. Yeah, it's, that look, basically looks like water. Very low viscosity. Looks pretty clear. Looks good. Looks like everything's there, even the teeny tiny, super paper thin wings of that little tiny dragon. So we'll get those washed and then the cure for these says I believe two to five minutes where it's purely clear I'm only going to do two minutes tops on a post cure on these. The wings are just so thin, like paper thin. I want to remove the supports and accidentally ripped his wing basically off. Not any fault of the resin because it did print it that thin, but it is just, it's like less than paper thin. And I'm gonna do these for two minutes since the clear probably doesn't need any longer than that. yellowed quite a bit and kind of warped a little bit where it, well it was broken so and it's just really thin probably only need to cure it for like 10 seconds the post curing for two to five minutes for the clear I would not do that long and it did uh, kind of clear up a little bit it's not as yellow as it was they say you can just let it sit for a day and it'll go back to normal a little bit better or you can boil some water and put it in boiling water for about 30 seconds to a minute. I've never tried that before. I don't think you necessarily need to do that. What I would do is I would just, after you're done printing it, don't cure it as long and then coat it with the UV protection stuff and it'll keep it nice and clear. But for what I'm gonna use these for, I actually don't mind that it's got a little bit of yellowing to it so that it won't be completely invisible when I put it in some clear dice. Okay, so now I'm going to clean that out so that I can move on to the blue. When it comes to cleaning out the bottom of my vat, I never use the plastic scrapers they give you because I don't want to scratch my film. I use a silicone scraper, and this is just like a bowl scraper for cooking or whatever, but it's got a piece of metal in it so it's nice and firm, but at the same time uh, very flexible on the ends. It makes scraping it out super easy. Water blue. It 
since these are all the same recommended settings for all of these colors of the same resin, I'm going to use the same settings I already have, the same file, and I should be able to print all the other colors just fine, exactly the same. Watching that guy get way yellow after only two minutes, I'm going to try only doing one minute at a time on this guy. Looks like it already has yellowed a little bit, turned a little bit green. There it is. A little bit of yellowing. Probably don't need to cure it for a full minute. I broke it getting off the build plate. That might be good enough to uh, put in a dye. Flaming orange. gray. I might even go a little bit more than two and a half seconds just because the gray is a lot easier to see. The little supports there aren't quite fully developed and connected and I'm missing most of my gems on the left side there. So it can go a little bit higher on the exposures. But overall, looks really good. It has some flexibility to it. Not all of them of all the colors. Still in general maybe a little bit more brittle than I would like but it's also because they're so small everything is so thin. Um, for the most part most of the colors the platform didn't warp too much with how thin it is since the settings are about the same and I've gone through a few different tests depending on what you're printing you might tweak them a little bit different I lowered the bottom layer by quite a bit. They do say that it does it here really well, and they say that. And because of it, it makes it difficult to get off and it can break, which as you can tell on a lot of these where it's so thin especially that they cracked and broke when I was getting them off the build plate. And that was even after turning it down. So if you do print miniatures, and I normally print miniatures flat on their base because it makes the most sense. But for this resin, if you're going to do that, do the supports first. Uh, don't print them flat on the base because it'll be more difficult to get them off without breaking the base of your miniature. So we're going to take this orange and this blue and we're going to mix them together. Also, uh, Side tip, I keep these silicone stir sticks for my epoxy resin, and I actually use them to stir the resin in the vat. You're supposed to take it out uh, when you're not going to use it for a day, but I leave it in there, and then when I go to use it again, I can just use this to mix it up in there without scratching the vat at the bottom. But it's also helpful for whatever else you want to mix. I almost wonder if I should try putting some more blue in here. Yeah, there we go, get more greenish. It's like an olive, olive green color. Olivey green.
printed well using those same settings. There's the green, our custom color. Looks pretty good. And unfortunately I ripped the wing from a teeny tiny dragon. But other than that, he looks pretty good. So yeah, overall, it's a good resin. It was pretty easy to wash with the water. Um, it was really easy to use once I got the settings figured out for my printer. It has very low viscosity. It's, it's like water, so you can print it at higher speeds if you need to. The precision and the details looks really good on the models. Overall, it looks pretty good. You can mix and match however you want if you're wanting to try it. I will say if you're wanting to do miniatures, just a reminder that you don't want to print it flat on the base. You'll want to use supports as the bottom layers do get very brittle as far as with the layer adhesion on the build plate. So until next time, print something cool and hopefully soon you'll be seeing a dice video with colored gems in it.